Hello friends, welcome. So now our plugins, uh, like basic plugins folder with the plugin information has been created. Okay, now let's see what is the next. So next is uh, including the software license. So currently we have added uh, header requirements. Okay, so that is also fine. Or you can create a license uh, file and then you can add it and you can just replace your plugin with this placeholder and it's good to go. So this is a license of the GPL version 2. So it just say that this plugin is compatible with the GPL 2 version. Okay. Now next is the activation deactivation hook. So what are the, these hooks? So these are the hooks which will run when the plugin activated and plugin deactivated. Okay. So let's say these hooks can be used uh, like if you if you are developing some plugins and you also need to create a custom database table in the WordPress, for example, or maybe you want to you uh, your plugins provide some of the settings and you would like to set up the default uh, settings uh, you want to save first so that user don't have to set up your plugin from the scratch. Like you can just define some of the basic settings which uh, users can use to get started with your plugin okay so in that case uh, all that database create uh, table uh, database table creation the uh, option saving all things you can do on an activation hook on a deactivation hook similarly if you want to do something uh, when your plugin is deactivated then those functionality you can add it okay so how you can add so wordpress provide uh, for activation hook wordpress provide this function so we can simply copy this uh, copy this function go to the our file here okay and simply added it here okay and i will change it for example our uh, movie library and it's a simple so i will just keep it mlb which is a prefix to avoid uh, like con con functions conflicts okay and i will add uh, mlb activation okay similarly so and mlb activation will be my callback function so i will add a function okay and simply so here in here uh, you can uh, add um, functionality uh, uh, to run on plugin activation okay so uh, database creation or uh, saving uh, op uh, some plugin settings into options table what uh, those kind of like dozen examples uh, which you can perform uh, during the plugin activation okay um, now about the deactivation hook i will just copy this one simple and uh, we'll add it here okay let me copy this uh, to save some time copy paste here then copy this deactivation part and then simply change it okay and rename this function uh, plugin deactivation okay okay so okay so now we have added the hooks okay now let's see um where uh, what exactly it does uh so let's let's see the the definition of this plugin okay so this plugin so i always prefer exploring the uh, wordpress function into the wordpress core file itself instead of doing a google or anything or browsing um on the or on the internet because like it, exploring in the WordPress code, we will get uh, information on a fingertip, right? So I will uh, I will use the go-to definition, and this is the register activation hook. And there are many benefits of exploring the WordPress code because you will learn about uh, the what what is the function, what are the parameters, and what accelerated plugins do. Okay, and WordPress, uh, I always uh, love this part. Like WordPress have very well. Uh, inline documentation in the WordPress course and you will get all the uh, fun information about f particular functions or the hooks or the classes everything you will get those information within the WordPress core file itself so I always uh, look into the WordPress course okay so this uh, uh, activation hook get two things one is a file the file name of the plugin including the part okay and the callback function so this callback function will be called when the plugin is activated okay then 
uh, uh, WordPress uses the plugin base name and it will get a fi base file base name of that uh, based on the file path we have provided and then they add add action so they use activate underscore the file and then callback function okay so it will activate activate underscore a uh, movie library thing okay so so whenever uh, movie library plugin activate this action will be executed uh, and using this add action the callback will be registered to this particular action don't worry about that we will learn uh, the actions and filters and these are the types of hooks available in the wordpress we will learn in the separate video about it okay simply for now is that when the plugin is activated uh, wordpress will uh, execute this activate underscore plugin name uh, action and then uh, when this action is registered uh, executed our callback callback function will be executed and whatever callback like whatever the code uh, added in the callback function mlb activation mat function it will be executed okay so this is the way uh, the activation uh, hook works behind the scenes okay and similarly for deactivation hook the same function it uh, add, it add actions okay so let's see how what it does exactly so i will simply and the underscore underscore file if this is a php constant is referred to our uh, plugin okay so when i uh, let's i do some die statement for now and we will simply uh, drop a message is that plugin activated okay something like and similarly um, i can say uh, plugin uh, deactivated um, deactivated okay this is not a good thing uh to think but like this is for the learning purpose so we can we can see how things is working okay so now i'm go back to the our site refresh the page so that changes later read more when i click on activate it stays plugin could not be activated because it triggered a fatal error and this is the good thing of the wordpress that uh, if there is any fatal error or or the unexpected uh die or exit the process uh, request then they will simply show the error message and here our message is shows plugin activated but currently our plugin is not activated because the wordpress prevent is a file otherwise if our plugin is activated and it will simply say a blank screen with our plugin activated message okay but this is the way like our plugin activation hook is working fine okay so what i will do now i will just simply remove the die statement okay and then go back and then refresh the page again and activate again now our plugin is activated okay so now when we deactivate our plugin it will say plugin deactivated okay um, so now let me just go here remove this one uh, okay and then refresh the page now our plugin is deactivated already okay so this plugin uh, plugin deactivated and uh, after the deactivation of the plugin this hook will be executed and whatever we want to do something on a plugin deactivation we can do so our callback functions uh, are working fine on activation deactivation hook okay see you on the next video jay wordpress